We've been talking about this for weeks, and today it's here. The downtown gift drop for the gift of joy. Amy Steigerwald is in our WTOL 11 parking lot right now. And Amy, it is all about the kids. Yes, Amanda, we are uh, kind of getting in the spirit of the toy drop uh, with the Imagination Station. This is Caitlin here. Caitlin, we are going to make some toys, I understand? That is right. We are going to be making our own toys, and I'm going to put you to work today. I've brought you some wood, a coping saw, which works on the pole. So I'm going to have you, we've already got our safety glasses on. Go ahead and pick up that saw, and you're going to go ahead and just get it, try your hand at sawing. And this is something that guests can do when they come to Imagination Station. We'll teach them how to properly use tools like this coping saw and other tools. How does it feel? You know, I am not... <laughs> I am not good with tools, but this is something, this is actually really safe, definitely something that a kid could easily do. And I know as a kid, I used to make these toys, and so this is kind of a full circle moment for me. Nice and easy. Um, I know a lot of our, our team was nervous when they heard me using a saw. But guys, it's going okay. It's going okay. You are doing great. And I'm going to show you how we move forward with completing our toys as well. Okay, so walk me walk me through this. Yeah, so we have some bare wood here and we want to make them nice and colorful and beautiful. And this is something that anyone can try at home with some things in their kitchen cabinet or refrigerator. So I've got some cabbage and spinach here. We're going to just take these leaves and rub them on the wood and see how they deposit a really beautiful color. Okay. All right, so I want you to just rip off a piece of this cabbage. Give it your best go. There we go. Perfect. Nice chunk there. And just go ahead and rub it on that wood. See what kind of color you get. There you go, get those broken pieces in there. It is. Perfect. So there's a lot of pigment in all of our fruits and our things in our cabinets at home. We've got a mixture we made with blueberries here and even one with spices like turmeric can deposit a really beautiful color. Do you want to give the spinach a try? There we go. Ooh, we get a that nice one. This one is really working. The green, the purple, I think the green might be might be my favorite a little bit more. Yeah. And then, like you said, this is something super easy you can do with kids. If you have like spinach that's going bad exactly. even, like yeah. that's a great idea. It's such a fun way to use up ingredients we have around the house to make something really cool. And to finish it out, we've made our own finish um, or seal at the Imagination Station as well. So this is a little nugget made of beeswax and jojoba oil. And all you have to do is just rub that gently over the area that you've stained. Just make a nice thin layer there and then use a cloth to buff it out and you'll have a nice colorful waterproof toy that you've made at home. Now I have a question. Did yeah. you guys, did you use this and paint this or did you use actual items? So, so this is dyed with our turmeric mix here. So this is just turmeric right out of your spice cabinet mixed in oil. Um, and likewise, this is made with another yellow spice that I'm missing the name of right now. <laughs> um, and we've got blueberry and strawberry over there as well. What a cool, easy gift idea, uh, fun activity for the kids the holiday season. Like I said, we're making toys with Imagination Station, kind of in the spirit of our downtown toy Toy gift drop, uh, and we are here until 7 o'clock tonight. You can come on down to our WTOL 11 studios, pull into the parking lot. You do not even have to get out of your car. We will get that toy for you, and it goes right back to local children at Lucas County Children's Services. I'm going to send it back to you in the studio, Amanda. We're going to hang out here, uh, kind of, maybe I'll, I'll get a little more creative <laughs> here than just like a plain block. You're doing uh, good. <laughs> they look good. Uh, we'll send it back to you. I know. She's this excited. Is like this is some of my best artwork. <laughs> <laughs> I am not an artist, but this looks That's pretty good. That's all right. This looks, looks pretty good. Good, good work, exactly. Amy. Thank you.